So this is where it gets real, and this is where it gets real for the viewers here too. Because Matt, you've gone through a lot, and with the smoking thing, there's a there's a question that I'm going to ask you, and this is going to be the hardest question that I'll ask you in this interview. Matt, what's going to happen if you don't quit smoking? I'll end up on a ventilator maybe and die. And leave my family with authority. Do you want to share with us just a little bit about some of the stuff in the hospital that has happened recently or your trips to the hospital that are mostly a result of your smoking? Being intubated so many times, laying there with the two weird folks offering on themselves, mouthing words that nobody can really understand. It's a lonely place. It's a region of the shadow of death. It's, uh, it's a horrible and as you saw from the very first video, Matt's putting himself to a challenge, a 30-day challenge to quit smoking. And Matt, we set ourselves up for, uh, for this challenge the last time we talked, and we're meeting again for the second time. But what, do you want to share with us what happened after you started the challenge? Well, I started how long ago? You started seven days ago. Seven days ago. And for the first four days, I didn't think I could do it. I uh, struggled with smoking for the first four days and uh, thought it was gonna be impossible. And then I just decided, actually I met with my mom and she said we'd restart it because she had had some wine and hers is not to drink. Mm -hmm. So the next day I just put my mind to it. It's been three days. And Matt, last week we talked about starting this 30 day program to quit smoking by doing some small steps in order to achieve that bigger goal that we have to quit smoking in 30 days. Well, um, the Nick Red Guns helped a bit, uh, the psychology of it. Uh, talking to my mom, seeing the earnest desire in her for me to stop and just making up my mind to say no to uh, I don't know, just, just gotta keep saying no. Be positive, think about the benefits of not smoking because smoking really has no benefits. Mm -hmm. But um, to be off them, to achieve three days, seven days, three weeks. For the six months that I quit, it got that I forgot about smoking. And I just would live my normal life. And I was in a lot better frame of mind and health and everything. So just thinking and thinking about what it's like to have a cigarette. Mm -hmm. And feeding that 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 demon inside or whatever. Mm -hmm. That hunger. And just thinking what it does to your body. That's helping not to do it. And if you watch the first two videos, you'll know that Matt Proctor's in the middle of a 30-day challenge to quit smoking and save his life. It's been really, 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 it's been a really hard struggle. I have been smoking. I gave my smokes away today so that I wouldn't smoke. Um, I, don't, I thought I could do it. I thought it, if I really set my mind to it, it would be easy, but it's not as easy as I thought it would be. So Matt, would you like to just share with us What's going on this week with your challenge? It's been a really difficult struggle. I've had a really hard time not smoking. Yeah. It seems I went for about two and a half days. And it seems that it's just hard. Yeah. Hard thing to break. Yeah. Someone who was telling me it would be the hardest thing I ever do. Yep. It's quit smoking. Yep. It's a real struggle. It's Tell us about some of the action steps that you've done to replace the habit. Well, when I go on my computer, I can go on my computer for like three hours and not even think of a smoke. Or else I can... When I watch television, it's still there pretty strong. The gum helps. The leak rag gum helps. Yep. Uh, you know, I don't know. 
Yep. So some of those things are, are working, and we're going to continue to uh, show how replacing the habit will work in this process because it's something that you can use as, as, a, as a tool going forward. I'm realizing that God loves me where I am and He um, has only the best things for me and um, I realized for smoking that if you believe that you can't do it then you never will, quitting that is. But if you can build up the momentum and the belief to believe in yourself and trust the trust God to deliver you or else work on it in in a way that um, well yeah like beliefs around why you do it you know because one is it's an addiction it's also a habit um, where you do it mm -hmm. when you're a smoker everywhere you go you smoke it yeah. seems like if I go for coffee I'm gonna have a smoke if I go to the bar to have a soda pop, I'm going to have a smoke. Then there's um, the uh, replacement. Yeah. Um, to find something to replace the habit of smoking to um, something that will... Um, okay. So you want to replace the habit of smoking. Something yeah. empowering. Empowering. Oh, Something excellent. that will yeah. empower me. Mm -hmm. Not just to replace it, but it empowered me to, to live a fuller life. Awesome. Cool. So you're really just targeting the, the formula that we're using, which is burr, right? So we always ask you, how's your burr going, Matt? <laughs> I'm working on burr. Yep. You know. Yeah. And the colder it gets, the, the more burr you have to work on, right? <laughs> That's cool. So today we talked a lot about uh, beliefs. And in our session today, we're going to talk a little bit more about beliefs. And it's important to believe in all of this stuff, isn't it? And to believe in yourself and to identify those underlying beliefs that are holding you back from being the person that you want to be and from having that vision and having that dream to accomplish that goal. So part of environments is what we do today. today. What we do together is we work together on those goals. In my belief, being a coach, I believe that when you set a dream and when you set a goal or an aspiration that you are a hundred times more likely of achieving that goal or aspiration when you have people alongside of you that are also vouching for you, that are in your corner, that are standing beside you, that, that believe the same things in you and sometimes they believe more for you than you believe in yourself and that helps raise you up. And to be associated in, and in that kind of an environment, that's the empowerment that we've been talking about so much. So, yeah, today we just uh, wanted to share this refreshing uh, update with Matt's progress as he's looking to quit smoking to save his life. Today we're going to be talking about how Matt has quit smoking. Woohoo! All right, that's awesome, Matt. It's been 17 days. It's been 17 days. Yeah, I know that all. I know that this time. For quitting, I did it on my own um, desire. I decided that I didn't want to end up in the hospital. I decided I didn't want to end up in the hospital again. And I was on the road to go in there, and I decided uh, that I just had to do it for myself. For a while there, I had it been that I didn't want to smoke anymore, and um, I just couldn't seem to get over it. And I finally made the decision, it's been 17 days. Awesome. You know, and you just have to persevere, be diligent not to smoke, right? Yeah. And my bird believing that I could do it was a big thing. My environment, I haven't changed much. I still go out for coffee and, and, and stay, go outside lots. And you just really have to make the decision, the reckoning of the will or whatever, that you're not gonna do it, and then you're good. Awesome, awesome. So tell me a little bit more about Burr. We've talked a lot in our sessions about beliefs, environments, and replacing. So you said, tell me more just to open up so people can understand how beliefs have helped you. Well. Like your belief in self, belief that you can do it, you know, your belief just, system. I just, I asked God to help me with the belief part. 
I realized that if I believed in myself, believed that I could quit, and believed in myself, and just, um, I don't know, just um, thought, you know, I can do this, I can do this, and just put it into practice, and believe, you know, believe that I could quit smoking instead of doubting and saying, oh, I'll try and quit, or, oh, this, like, you know, or I'll quit later, you just have to believe that you can do it, and set your mind to it. Awesome.